All right, this will be part two of the um, laser light show project. I've got what I've got here is some uh, three quarter inch aluminum angle. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount the uh, speed controllers for the motors here. And what I've did, what I've done is I've measured, yeah, let me get my pointer. From here to here is one and one quarter inch. I just uh, figured that angle out by um, trying to figure out exactly how much space that I would need between each controller. Now I've marked for three and I'm going to drill for three, but I've only got two controllers right now. I marked uh, one quarter inch down and one and one quarter inch between these verticals here. So I'm going to go over to the mill and uh, the, uh, the shafts on the controllers are a little bit over a quarter inch. They're uh, seven sixteenths. Is that right? Quarter inch. 1764 sorry 1764 so I'm going to drill three holes at 1764 for the two speed controllers all right we'll go over to the mill and we'll proceed to drill okay I got the drill set up mill so about 1300 rpm here And I'm just lining this up by eye. Okay, guys, I um, I tried to fit this before I filmed, and I had to uh, go up to 9:30 seconds for these holes, just so you know, uh, to get these to fit through there. Um, okay, and so then we have the nut here to tighten these up. And I'm going to show you the profile here in just a second once I get this one on. There we go. And the profile, as you can see, the electronics don't bang into the bottom. And I'll get that perfectly straight. I'll get the other one put installed as well. It might be a good idea to take a picture of the bottom of these so you remember the wiring schematic. Uh, may be helpful. There's a second one. And we'll be getting a third one later. And for installing the uh, the controls, I'm gonna go ahead straight down for off. Okay. It's not gonna give me exactly straight down. All right, and then I did say wrong in my other video, I commented it, that, that these do have click to off. That one you can't hear the click, this one you can. Huh. So anyways, we'll come back and we'll do the wiring. Okay guys, for the wiring, I'm going to be using Ethernet. Uh, this has got eight conductors in it and uh, I can back feed the power and, um, and uh, run three controllers, even though I just have two right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip back uh, more than I should need here. Take that little string out there. Okay, and then just for right now, I'm going to use the third hole to strap these wires in place. And then uh, when I progress to get the third controller, um, I'll move this back. But Okay, so let me go ahead and cut that off. Okay, well... Oops. And there. So I'm going to have uh, one input there and three outputs. Uh, so I will come up with my wiring schematic and I'll get back with you. Okay, so the schematic I'm going to go with is I'm going to use the lighter colors for the negative and the brighter colors for the positive. And then I'm going to use the orange for the power. And then I'm going to use the brown, green, and blue uh, for the motor feeds. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, drape these and get these underneath um, to feed the power here and then I'll get some more to uh, feed the power back over here and then I'll go ahead and connect the outputs um, and then I'll leave one wire 
for the last connection. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and work on that. I guess we'll edit this and fast forward it because it's going to be enormously boring, I'm sure. But uh, as you can see, this is what I'm going to be doing. Okay, I'm sure you guys are all falling asleep here, but I was just trying to show this. I did record it all. Anyway, I had some problems when I stripped the wires. I cut them too hard and they broke, so I had to redo them. But anyway, uh, uh, just give me another couple seconds and we'll continue on. Didn't create any issues here. We still got our power in on the right. We still got our power in on the left. Okay, great. Now I'll go ahead and strip the output wires and we'll put the voltmeter on it. Okay, now I have it set up uh, for 20 volts. Um, and we'll go ahead and turn it on and see what we see. The LED light came on. I don't know if you can see that. It immediately went up to 5 volts. But that's because it's pulsed width modulation. But um, it's not going to go any higher, I don't believe. Because um, uh, the meter doesn't regulate that fast. But I am getting an output voltage there, which is good. All right, we'll go ahead and check check the brown one. The brown wires, that is. And here we go, the secondary one. Immediately went up. Okay, so that looks right. Um, because the pulse width is going to be the full voltage, but it's just on and off and the meter uh, won't register that quickly. So anyways, uh, the wiring down here on the uh, on the controller is good. So that will conclude uh, the wiring and the setting up of the speed controller. Alright, YouTube, thank you very much for watching.